When chemists measure how much of a particular chemical reacts, they measure the amount in grams, or they measure the volume of a gas. However, chemists find it convenient to use a unit called a mole. In this video you are going to learn the meaning of the mole, and carry out calculations involving the relationship between the number of particles, the amount of substance in moles, and the mass in grams. The mole is just a number, a very big number. It is a way of saying a number in words, just like dozen for 12. Using moles tells you how many particles you get in a certain mass of a substance. A dozen molecules is 12 molecules. While a mole of molecules is 6.02 times 10 to 23 molecules. This number is called Avogadro's number. It is the number of units in one mole of any substance, and defined as its molecular weight in grams. You can find the number of moles of a substance by using the mass of substance and the relative atomic mass or relative molecular mass. Let's have example calculations involving the use of moles. Example 1. How many moles of sodium chloride are present in 117 grams of sodium chloride? To solve this problem first you need to calculate the molar mass of sodium chloride. Find the atomic masses of sodium and chlorine from your periodic table. The molar mass of sodium chloride is gonna be 23 plus 35.5 equals 58.5. Then divide the mass of sodium chloride by its molar mass to get the number of moles. The number of moles in 117 grams of sodium chloride is 2. Example 2. What mass of sodium hydroxide is present in 0.25 mole of sodium hydroxide? First you need to calculate the molar mass of sodium hydroxide using your periodic table. The molar mass will be 23 plus 16 plus 1, which is 40 grams per mole. Then calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide using the same formula that we used in example 1. The mass in 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide is 10 grams. Example 3. How many carbon atoms are there in 18 grams of carbon? First you need to get the number of moles of carbon. Number of moles equals the mass of carbon divided by its atomic mass. In 18 grams of carbon we have 1.5 moles. Then multiply the number of moles by Avogadro's number to find the number of carbon atoms. In 18 grams of carbon, there are 9.03 times 10 to 23 atoms. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.